CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 2.3, Given a Scenario, Detect, Remove, and Prevent Malware Using the Appropriate Tools and Methods. Types of Malware When it comes to malware, think of it like that one friend who crashes your party uninvited, devours all your snacks, and leaves behind a total mess. But instead of crumbs, malware leaves a trail of chaos through your system. Now, before we discuss some of the specific types of malware, let's start with a simple definition for malware as a whole. Malware is malicious software designed to damage, disrupt, or gain unauthorized access to a computer system. Perfect, now that you know what malware is at a high level, we can begin to break down the types of malware wreaking havoc in our digital world. First up, we have viruses. A virus is the classic form of malware that replicates by attaching itself to clean files or programs. When those files or programs are executed, the virus activates and spreads further. Its behavior is all about multiplying and infecting as many files as possible, like a digital contagion. Viruses can corrupt data, slow down your system, and even destroy files. Next, we have a Trojan. A Trojan is malware disguised as legitimate software, tricking users into installing it. Unlike a virus, it doesn't replicate itself, but rather uses deception to sneak into your system. Once it's inside, it can open backdoors for other malware, steal data, or even take control of the infected device. It's like downloading what you think is an awesome game, only to find out it's secretly letting hackers rummage through your files. Moving on, we have rootkits. A rootkit is malware that hides its presence on your system, often embedding itself within your operating system's root files. Rootkits operate at the core, or root, of the operating system, manipulating system processes to allow unauthorized access while remaining hidden from most antivirus tools. These are the digital ninjas of the malware world, they're stealthy and dangerous. Ransomware is like a digital hostage taker. It infiltrates your system, encrypts your files, and demands a ransom, typically in cryptocurrency, in exchange for unlocking them. The behavior of ransomware is simple yet catastrophic. It denies you access to your own data, holding it for ransom, and even if you pay, there's no guarantee that the attacker will actually return your files. It's the ultimate cyber extortion, leaving victims with limited options unless they have secure backups in place. Spyware is a particularly stealthy form of malware that operates in the background, gathering information without the user's knowledge. Its primary goal is to collect data, anything from browsing habits to sensitive personal information, like usernames, passwords, or credit card numbers. The danger of spyware lies in its ability to stay hidden for long periods all while quietly stealing data. One specific type of spyware is a keylogger. A keylogger is malware that records every keystroke the user makes, tracking passwords, login information, and even messages. Keyloggers give attackers a front row seat to your every move, turning even mundane tasks like typing an email into a security risk. Additionally, one common delivery method for keyloggers is through a small physical device that can be plugged into a USB port, usually between the keyboard and the computer. It sits quietly between the two, intercepting and recording everything typed on the keyboard. The worst part? Since it's a physical device, traditional antivirus software won't detect it because it doesn't interact with the operating system. So keep your eyes peeled. A boot sector virus infects the boot sector of a hard drive, making it extremely persistent and difficult to remove. Even if you wipe the OS, the virus can remain, reinfecting the system as soon as it boots up. The behavior is particularly nasty because it affects the core of the system, where the OS loads from. Last up, we will cover crypto miners. Crypto miners secretly use your system's resources, specifically your CPU or GPU, to mine cryptocurrency. These parasites slow down your system, overheat your hardware and can drastically reduce your device's performance. You may not notice at first, but if your computer feels like it's running through molasses, you might have a crypto miner leeching off your resources. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.